Hi guys, it's Mark from AnyPond.com, your trusted resource in the UK for ponds and water features. You might recognise where we are. This is our how to build a fish pond video pond. It's about three years since we installed this particular pond. We didn't come last year at all, so it's been about two years since we've come and done a service call on here. The old pond, it was having to clean out all the filter box, brush them all down, rinse them all out. And since I've had this pond, well, <laughs> I hardly do anything. I just <laughs> chuck my sachet in once a month nice. and uh, empty the box. We the skimmer the, box? We call it the chip basket. Uh -huh. <laughs> we love it. That's nice. The chip, the, the chip basket. Yeah, we call That's it the chip good. basket. Yeah. So we empty that. Just if, sometimes it needs doing once a week, but there's very little in there, you know. Yeah. It's, it's just, we do it just to keep the maintenance going. And other times, I just enjoy it. And there's a little bit of waste inside the pond, but there's nothing really to be mentioned. Let's go and have a look at the pond now and you'll see for yourselves. George is working inside the skimmer box and this is the skimmer opening. So in two years, these irises have loved the nutrients and covered the complete entrance. Water's still getting in, so the filter's still working, but it's not skimming off the surface. The fish are all in their fish cave. So we used to hide in, you know, we do get the heron quite a bit. So yeah. um, it's good that they can just go under there. And like you say, they can all get under there, which is really good. This is much slower than the other one. The other one we've always had string of um, like blanket weed in it or some algae floating in it. It was murky. You couldn't see the bottom. Um, the fish were only really visible when they were right up towards the surface and uh, this is just amazing to me, you know, and with so little effort. We've got a wetland filtration system up here and then we've got the waterfall filter up there. Let's go and have a look at the wetland filter. So we're using the tanks to fill up with fresh new tap water. We use the hoover to pump out all of the waste. This one's on standby. So all of the waste has been hoovered out onto the flower beds. Um, there was a lot of waste in the actual wetland filter, but considering it's been two years since we've done any maintenance on this pond, it's crazy. So we've just got the filter media. Yes, we could do a bit, a bit more rinsing. We probably will replace um, one of those biological filters. This is the waterfall filter box. And then you've got the wetland filter up there. So what we've got here is we've got a pump vault. The pipe work comes in and then actually enters the wetland filter underneath aqua blocks. And we, all we use this pump vault for is removing the waste. And we've given it a couple of rinses. So this is the top of the pump vault and it's only put in for access to the bottom of the wetland filter. This is a small one. So what we've got is we've got two small aqua blocks in this vicinity with about nine inches of gravel over the top and water slowly percolates up through the gravel and then out down the stream and then into the pond and the extra filtration is we've got the waterfall filters you can see it's all completely blended in now normally we've got those biological filter pads on the top and then we put a few rocks that George has taken out on the top here. So those will go back in, so it will all be disguised. Water comes down the waterfall, then down the five foot stream and back into the pond. There's a little bit of sediment in the pond, a little bit of leaves and debris in there, simply because the skimmer box, which is normally lo located here, is completely blocked up with the irises because we haven't been for a couple of years. But aren't those irises looking gorgeous? They're looking fantastic. So. I'm gonna carry on and I'll show you once we've stripped out some of these irises. So there we go. We've taken out a load of the irises. We've opened up the front of the skimmer box. The irises were all the way to here. Pond's milky because we put in multi-clear to remove some of the blanket weed. We've also put in some beneficial bacteria. Um, let's walk round and I'll show you the top of the, the wetland. So this is all wetland now. The pump vault is here. This is water percolating up through the gravel and then down the stream. We've got the waterfall box. So the iris and the phalaris are the only plants removing any nitrates 
out of the water and phosphates out of the water. So we're not removing them completely. We're going to keep the few irises, we're going to keep the phalaris and um, it's all looking good now. So the pond will clear back to how it was when we first started. But as you can agree, that looks so much better, even though that water's milky. So my name's Mark, the Pond Advisor, and I'm here to support you dream, plan and enjoy ponds and water features. Put it in the comment section below if you haven't seen this pond before. If you haven't seen this video before, I'll put it in the description below. It's how to build a fish pond and I'll go through the step-by-step -step process of how we build these particular ecosystem ponds. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.